All right, welcome to the MAPS Rainmaker series. This is video number one, and today is January 1st, 2021. So it's the first of the new year. Great day to start this new series. And today we're going to be pick, we're going to be covering picking a domain name. So there's more to this than a lot of people realize. You know, a lot of people, they just go out, they pick a domain name, and they just run with it. Well, there's a lot of things you got to consider before picking a domain name, and I'm going to cover all that in this video. All right. So first of all, the tool I like to use to do a bulk domain search, just so I can search for a bunch of domains at once to see if they're available, is the GoDaddy bulk domain search tool. So you can go to godaddy.com slash domain slash bulk domain search, or you can just go to Google and type in GoDaddy bulk domain search tool, and it will come up. All right. Now, I don't register my domain with GoDaddy. I actually just search with this, and I register at Namecheap because they have cheaper prices, they have free privacy, and you're going to end up saving a good amount of money as you buy more domains down the road. Now, for this particular series, we're going to be taking a site and ranking it for Landenburg SEO. Landenburg, Pennsylvania is the city I live in, so we're going to take that city, we're going to rank our site for Landenburg SEO, and that's going to be the example site. All right. So, first thing I want to cover is when you're picking a domain name, make sure you plan ahead of time. Make sure you know what you're going to be doing with the site, because there's a lot of people who pick a domain name and then you know they end up you know, ranking it for a specific term, and then they want to expand on the site later on, but it doesn't make much sense for the site they picked. So since I know, you know my plan is I'm just going to rank this site for Landenberg SEO. That's it. You know, just anything Landenberg SEO, Landenberg SEO, Landenberg SEO team, Landenberg SEO agency, all that type of stuff, just one city, that's all that's going to happen with this site. I'm never going to expand it to other locations. It's just going to be about Landenberg SEO. So since I know that, I'm going to have Landenberg SEO in my domain name because that's going to give me a lot of credibility for these types of terms. Anything Landenberg SEO and those two mix and variations of it, I'm going to get more credibility for it than if I just did a domain name like, you know, gregmorrison.com because I have my actual keywords in the domain name. All right, so be aware of that when you're choosing your domain name. Most of you watching this are probably beginners or you're building your first site or you know, you're, you're just doing a smaller town. You want to do the same thing. So if you live in Bumble, Arizona, you want to have Bumble AZ in your, or, you know, or Bumble SEO in your domain name. Okay, so you can rank for Bumble SEO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for different domain names and see if they're available. Now I can do LandenbergSEO.com. That would probably be my, my top pick because that would, that's what's considered an EMD or an exact match domain. Now, if that's not available, it's okay. I'll go with something like LandenbergSEOGuy.com or you know, LandenbergSEOGirl.com or LandenbergSEOAgency.com, all right, something like that, or LandenbergSEOTeam.com, all right? And what I can do is do this bulk search and see which of these domain names are available. So let's go ahead and do this search. And this will show us which of these domain names are available. So four of them are available, uh, Landenberg SEO Girl, Landenberg SEO Guy, Landenberg SEO Team, and Landenberg SEO Agency. So unavailable is the LandenbergSEO.com. All right, so these are the ones that I can choose from. And of course, I can choose other ones. I can you know, go search for other stuff. Make sure you think about this. You know, Maybe even give it a night sometimes, where if you pick a domain you like, Think about it overnight. Make sure you still like it the next day because a lot of people, they'll pick a domain. You know, they'll, they'll just pick it really quick. They just go pick the first thing they see, first thing they think of, and then, you know, they rank it. They spend months ranking it. They, you know, invest in it. You know, ends up going on a business card, and then they're like, eh, I don't like this name that much. <laughs> well, yeah, you can change it, but it gets a little more complicated. So pick a domain name you like from the start. All right, just Think about it a little more, put a little extra time into that, and make sure you just have something you like so you're not trying to switch things later on, which can complicate the SEO process. All right. The other thing, going back to making a plan, for some of you intermediate advanced people, if you're going to be building larger sites, obviously you're not going to do like just a citynamecom because you're going to be expanding later probably. So, for example, if you plan on going after hundreds of cities for SEO, like you want to go after Miami SEO and Orlando SEO and Houston SEO and, you know, uh, Landenberg SEO and uh, Austin SEO and just you want to go after tons of cities, you're not going to name your site one location SEO. You're going to name it like maybe the SEOteam.com, right? So if you're doing like a larger site, if you can, you want to get your keyword, your kind of main keyword topic in the domain name. Again, if you don't, not a huge deal, but it will give you a little bit of added oomph.
for your SDL to make it a little easier down the road. Again, if you don't do it or you already started something or you have a client that doesn't have it in there, it's okay. You don't need to do any crazy tricks to get the keyword in there. You could still rank. It's just going to be a little more difficult. You get a little more credibility when the keyword's in there. All right? So just be aware of that when you're picking your domain name. The big thing here is think about the domain. Okay, just give it some thought. Don't just go pick something and go check out and build your site and then not like it a few months down the road after the work's done. Number two is know your plan before you start the site. Don't go start LandenbergSEOGirl.com and then rank the site. And then a few months down the road, you're like, you know what? I want to expand this site. Now I want to rank for Miami and Austin and Los Angeles. Doesn't make much sense on a, on a site called Landenberg SEO Girl. When you name a site a specific city plus SEO, typically you're just going to rank for that city name and all the variations of it. You know, Landenberg SEO, Landenberg SEO Agency, Landenberg SEO uh, Team, Landenberg SEO, Landenberg Search Engine Optimization. All those you're going to rank for on this one site, but you're not going to typically rank for Miami SEO on this website. So that's why you want to have a proper plan in place for picking the right domain name. Again, many of you, since you're beginners, you're just starting out, choose one topic have your city plus topic in the domain name. A lot of you are going to be doing, you know, city SEO sites, so do just your city with SEO and another word in it. If the EMD is not available, make sure you like the domain and then go ahead and uh, do the next step of the research, which I'm going to show you now. So the one I like most, I think, is Landenberg SEO Agency because it has my main keyword, Landenberg SEO, in there, but it also has agency in there, which is something a lot of people search for as well. So they'll search for, like, you know, Miami SEO agency, and they're trying to hire an agency. So I'm going to go with this one if it passes my next kind of phase. So let's go ahead and copy this domain name. I'm going to show you the next part of the process on picking a domain name. And again, most people skip this step, even intermediate people. Even some advanced people forget about this step. So let's go ahead and go here. Now, the first way you can do this the free way is just doing a kind of who is history check. So you can see this who is dash history dot who is XML API dot com. Um, you can go here to this address to do this search and just put your domain name in there and hit enter. And it's going to make us choose the mountains or hills. I don't see any other mountains or hills. Oh. Sorry, I'm blind, even with my glasses on. And typically, what we want to see is record count zero. Okay, if this shows up, you're definitely good to go. Now, sometimes you'll get, you know, it has a past history, and it's still okay. The main thing I, I want to be checking for is that it doesn't have past links. Now, to actually check for links, you're going to need a paid tool. And in this particular case, I like using Ahrefs or the OMG Command Center. So let me go ahead and log in here. And I'll show you what I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and put our domain name in here and do a search. This is what I want to see when I'm, this is really the main thing I'm looking for. No history of referring domains. There's no history here, no data. That's what I want to see. Now, the reason I bring this up is because sometimes you can do this check, right? And it will have a previous history, but if it still shows like this, it's fine, all right? But I understand a lot of you are beginners and you don't want to, you know, spend money on another tool. This is a good way to bypass that. Just find a domain that has zero. Just, you know, you might take some a little extra search, uh, you know, looking for domains because some might have a history but no links. It, it doesn't matter. As long as it comes up zero here, you're good to go. If it has a history, you're going to have to take this next step and, and use a tool like this to do a search. You may be able to get a free search, you know, even if you don't have accounts, so you can try that. Go to ahrefs.com and see if you can do a free search. But again, if it shows zero here, you don't even need to check it here. You only need to check it here if it has a history showing here. You want to make sure there's no links going to that domain. There's no links going to that domain before because that can complicate the process. A lot of domains you look for, as long as you add a keyword to it, you're doing like a smaller city, it should show no zero records. So you can do a totally free check, won't cost you any extra money, and you won't have to go to this step. Or if, it, you know, if something shows, like for example, if I went to Landenberg SEO Agency and had a history, and I'm a beginner and I can't afford this tool right here, well, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go check the next domain. Okay, Okay. well that one I can't really do the full research on. Let's go check, check LandenbergSEOGuy.com. So I'll run that through, 
Oh, comes up to zero. Okay, cool. I can choose that one. So that's the way you can do it if you're a beginner that doesn't want to invest in an extra tool right now. All right. So now that I've done this history check and it has no history, has no links going to it, we are good to go. We can register this domain. So let's go back here. Now remember, I'm not going to register at GoDaddy. I actually registered them at Namecheap because it saves us money. As you can see here, it cost us $12. And they also charge $10 a, a year for privacy. At Namecheap, privacy is free, and it's going to cost us about 8 bucks to register this domain. So let's go ahead and type it in Namecheap because we know it's available because the, the GoDaddy told us. And here we are right here, you see it's available, so let's go ahead and add it to cart. You see it's less, $3 less, it'll actually come up as about uh, $4 less by the time I check out. So I'm going to go ahead and check out. Now I have money in my account, so I don't have to go through the whole process, I can just do confirm order. And you see it's $8.38, so it's almost $4 less. Let's pay now. And it will process. And boom, we are done. As you can see, January 1st, 2021, it's about noon. Uh, the, the domain is officially ours, and we now own it for for the next year at least. You know, when the year comes up, we can renew it. We'll pay another $8 to renew it. Uh, but yeah, so the domain's officially ours, and we'll get this rolling. Now, the next step will be to connect this to our hosting account. We'll do that by clicking on Manage and going to something called a DNS or domain name servers, that connects it to the hosting account, but we'll cover that later on. It's very simple to set up, sounds confusing, but it's very simple. So our domain is picked. Hopefully you, this helps you pick your domain and pick the right domain. Make sure you take your time. Uh, you know, Don't just rush it and pick a domain you don't like or you know, build out a site and then find out it wasn't the right name choice for the type of site you wanna make. Plan ahead of time, take your time, make sure you pick the right domain, and then we'll move to the next step.